People there, Outpour East here, Outpour Outdoors, everything fishing, everything outdoors. And today I want to tell you that I knew every single craft beer. I was obsessed with looking at the little ice crystals that form in my extra dirty gin martini. I love the burn when I drank that. I couldn't not look at women sexually. When a woman would come serve my table or walk by me in a mall, I couldn't help but look at her with lust. I was addicted to over-counter sleep aid and another array of prescription drugs that I could not stop taking. When I tried to stop taking them, my muscles would ache. And if I tried to stop taking the drugs, I wouldn't sleep for days. I was so angry with my father and the things that he's done. And I held so much unforgiveness that it began to affect my body and it started to make me sick. Sick in the head even. I would get so angry and do things that I would regret. I would have fits of rage that I couldn't even control. And after I did it, I would feel so terrible about myself and just feel like killing myself because I couldn't control myself. See, I could have saw God do anything. I could have saw God move a mountain into an ocean. I could have saw God heal any disease. I could have saw God do anything, but it wouldn't have made me believe that God was real. What made me believe God is real is when I decided in my mind, man, this liquor doesn't really satisfy me anymore. You know, I don't want to look at any other women anymore. I just want to look at my wife and I want to be a good husband. I want to love my wife. When I decided that the only high I want is the high that comes from knowing him, the high that comes from being with him and being in his presence. When I decided to forgive my father and say, you know, Lord, he knew not what he did. I forgive him and I pray that he goes on to be the best father that he can be. After I started saying things like that, I started to realize God is so real. And what better day to acknowledge that than the day that we all choose to celebrate that he rose. He died and he rose. See, I was a dead man, dead in my sin, dead in my lust, dead in my addiction. But the same power that rose Christ from that grave is the same power that changed me. I don't think the same, I don't speak the same, I don't walk the same. The twinkle in my eye isn't even the same. And if you knew me then and you know me now, you know that I'm not the same. It's been almost a decade that I'm free from drugs and alcohol. I'm a married man. I love my wife and I try my best every day to be the best father that I could be to my children. Am I perfect? No. I'm not perfect. But now, instead of it being something that I surrender to, something that I just give, anything that I struggle with, it turns into a battle. And I win. Why? Because the Lord is on my side. So let me tell you right now, if you're struggling with anything, the same power that did it in me, I'm not special to him. He doesn't love me more than you. If there's something you want to change, he can change it in you. And I don't care if you've been going to church for 30 years. I don't care if you've been serving the devil every day. It doesn't matter. What matters is your encounter with the Holy Spirit and him living inside of you. And the way you know is that you don't want to do the things you used to do. You battle and struggle not to do them. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, you stop doing them. You turn away and you start living a new life. You die, and then you rise. A new person. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Love y'all.